Hey guys, in today's video, I'm taking you behind the scenes to show you exactly how I created this stunning open plan living room, dining and kitchen render using SketchUp and V-Ray. We'll go from modeling, lighting, materials to camera composition and post-production. And I'll be sharing essential tips along the way that can transform the way you visualize your interiors. Let's dive right in. I started by referencing this simple 2D plan image. From there, I quickly built the shell of the space, walls, ceilings, floor, and key architectural elements like the openings for doors and windows. Visualization tip 1. Always model with real-world dimensions. This helps ensure your scale, lighting, and camera setups feel believable from the start. Next, I created the first two camera views. These are just starting points. We'll refine them later to improve composition and lighting balance. At this stage, do not stress too much about perfection. Just get your angles blocked in. Now let us talk about lighting, one of the most crucial parts of realism. First, I brought in natural lighting using a combination of AGRI environment and V-Ray sunlight. This gives us that daylight wash that feels real and grounded. Then 
Then, I introduced rectangle light near the windows. This helps simulate light bounds and assists the HDRI in illuminating shadowed areas. As I adjusted the lighting, I also started tweaking the VFB post processing effects like exposure, white balance, and lookup tables. This helps you preview your scene as it evolves. Visualization tip 2. Use lookup tables early in the workflow. They give you a clear sense of the scene's mood and help you balance lighting from the start. I added two more camera views and this time I used the proportion guide tool to perfect the composition, applying the rule of thirds and visual weight balance. This ensures your shots are not only well lit but beautifully framed. Now onto materials. I created and applied materials to walls, wooden floor, wooden doors, the wood panels and key elements like the kitchen island and marble backsplash. Live previews helped me verify that bump maps, reflection values, and tiling scales were behaving correctly. Visualization tip 3. Preview as you apply. Don't wait till the end. It saves time and prevents material errors stacking up. With materials in place, I started enhancing indirect lighting using indoor rectangle light. This helps shape your shadows and create warmth in areas HDRIs can't reach. I tweaked intensity, temperature and spread, especially around the living areas and the kitchen space. Visualization tip 4. Use warm temperatures for interiors. They instantly add realism and mood. Now, 
Now, the scene is fully furnished. Most of the assets came from 3D Warehouse and other reliable libraries. I've included the links in the description below for you to assess. Visualization tip 5. Mix high quality models from multiple sources, but always double check the scale and orientation before placing so you can adjust them appropriately. I refined the final camera shots using the rule of thirds and slight depth of field on some close shots to create separation between foreground and background. Next, I populated the scene using Chaos Cosmos plant, books, decorative items to bring life into the space. Then I activated the lens effects, the bloom and glare to give lighting elements that subtle sparkle that mimics camera behavior. With everything in place, I moved to the final render setting. I set my aspect ratio to 0.8, render engine to CPU, render quality to medium plus, the denoiser to mild. This setting gives a solid quality to speed balance, perfect for quick client previews and mid quality renders. After the render, I did a quick Photoshop post-production to enhance contrast, warmth and sharpness. And there you have it, a complete workflow from plan 
the photorealistic open living room render using SketchUp and V-Ray. But here is the thing, this is just the surface. If you want a full step-by-step -step training that covers interior and exterior visualization, material mastery, lighting strategies, and real project workflow, then I invite you to enroll in my ArcVis course, available now at a 90% discount. And yes, it comes with direct mentorship from me. Click the link in the description to join now and let's take your skill to the next level. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.